I want to know your opinion since you're like, <clears throat> I guess you like you have a name for yourself in terms of all this like hip hop shit and the new underground and all that. What's your opinion on all these like conspiracy theories and selling your soul and shit based on what you would know like, at this point? Like baby Santana? Talked, like everyone you've talked to, all the connections you know and their opinions and shit. What's your personal opinion on soul selling and shit like that? Illuminati, all that shit. You're talking about Baby Santana, right? Because Jace came out on IG Live and said that Baby Santana said he sold his soul. I didn't even know that. What the fuck? Yeah, he said he. he J, Jace came out and said that. He said that he had like a conversation with Baby Santana in like a group chat or some shit. And Baby Santana came out and said that he sold his soul. Um, now Illuminati, I definitely think that there are people, I don't know if they call themselves Illuminati, cause I don't think that this, the most influential people in this world, nobody even knows who they are. I think yeah. Jeff Bezos and shit, like there are people above him. Yeah. That really control shit. Warner Buffet or some shit. Yeah. People like that. But what's your opinion? Okay. Well, one, I have an Illuminati tat on my arm <laughs> i i drew it and I, I'm, I put it there i want to be like that shit when i get when i want it when i'm done with youtube and commentating and whatever i want to be a behind the scenes person puppeteering all these motherfuckers really really now obviously like i'm a good person though or at least i like to think so so i'm not gonna like you know it's just i it's just business when you when it comes down to it so just in relation to what i just said i don't think that there's such thing as selling your soul like to the devil like obviously there are satanists but like selling your soul is a metaphor for you so what i think jace means for selling his soul just to put things in perspective is baby santana signed to galactic or baby sant i mean to lil Tecca or lil Tecca's manager i don't know who signed him but they're definitely in his he's definitely in their camp and after that baby santana started going up because like he got a marketing budget um you know promotion from all these pages he got all the connections the little Tecca feature on prada remix i know he had clout before that but like shit just gets much easier and it speeds up the pace. So that's what selling your soul is. Like you sold the rights to you. Like, cause so you got to give up percentage of your royalties and masters and just yeah. the money you make. Is that what you think? I mean, do you think that people are legit selling their souls, getting <clears throat> fucked in the ass by music executives? Like academics said, I mean, I don't know about all that, but I definitely think, cause like, bro, do you know, <clears throat> do you know about Yeet's tattoos? No, you don't. Oh, shit. What is that here? Yeah. Explain it to me. And also tell me if there's like a picture that I should look up on Google yeah, images um, let me... or post it in like general or some shit. Yeah. Hold up. Yeet's tattoos so, okay. is a cult symbol, somebody says. Let me see if I can find a good picture of it. Hold up. Y'all are scaring me. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. In Yeet's defense, I also have an Illuminati tattoo. So, hold up. So, like, a cult tattoo doesn't necessarily mean you're in a cult or that you sold your soul or that you're in it tattoos can represent other things i'm gonna put it in general but the tattoo i mean he has a bunch of odd shit honestly but <clears throat> let's see i just put it in general that fucking tattoo the one that's the sun underneath shit. No, no, underneath the crying heart or whatever, you know, you see that thing in the box, the face. Nah, it's like fucking lines and shit. Here, it's a me... bunch of lines. 
a bunch of lines. Here, I'm making it bigger. Under that crying heart, you see the crying heart? I see the sun. Now, now point me after now the sun. Under the sun, under the sun is the crying heart. Okay. And then under that, you see the fucking shit inside the box? Yeah. All right. I can't see That's it very point. well. I'm going to go on my phone real quick. Seigl or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Seigl, Seigl. But. What is a Seigl? Yeah, you're going to want to go on Google for that too. But if you just search up fucking Seigl and just go to images. <clears throat> and that's a whole nother thing. That's like, like that's a whole other like topic because there's a whole bunch to explain. But what there's a bunch the of demon fuck? cycles, and you can basically make your own and shit like that. But I don't even know all that. Like, Bro, just, you're giving I, me the fucking chills, man. But basically, what? in lying for fun, you heard the lyrics, right? I tatted all that shit on me, and then it started to happen. Bitch, it's too true. He's talking about that fucking tattoo right there. And that's a fucking cycle. And yeah, there's a whole bunch. Like I could probably like I could probably link you some shit after the stream so you can like look at that on your own. But because that's a whole bunch to explain right now. Holy fuck. But yeah, so a cycle you uh, you said you you create your own. You can. But there's but, already a bunch of other cycles, like demon cycles, and you can like fucking. I guess people use like people that believe in that shit. They use it to call upon entities and shit. And basically, that's what some people say he does, and that's how he has his career. Now that wouldn't technically be selling your soul to the devil, but it's like that's a type of shit. Like that's something, you know what I mean? Right, it's in the realm of like working with demons or whatever the fuck. Holy shit! It's not even showing up on my my internet. Bro, it's fucking Reddit. Like, there's a bunch of people that talk about it. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out for sure. What the fuck? But okay, I also think that. Look, I'm I'm definitely going to. Oh, it's Seigel with I. Oh, S I, S I G I L. Okay. I think that Ye also plays a character. Like even with the Schmunky, Tonka, whatever language bro speaks. Yeah. He's good at that. Even putting it in his lyrics. So, maybe somebody said something about his tattoo. And he knew that the fans would start talking about that shit. Just like how Cardi, like they say that he sold it or like, you know, he, he's satanic, right? I don't think Cardi or Uzi, Uzi said he, he was with the devil. I don't think Uzi or Cardi are actually satanists. It's all part of the image. So I just think he, like he know, like that's why Yeet's so good. He's good at marketing himself. Cause I think that yeah. people fuck with him more than just his music. Like there's a whole cult behind him because of the way he carries himself. Again, the language, the turban, all that shit. Tonka, which Cardi has too, with like the hieroglyphics. Let's see, Seigold. Look at images. A sign, word or device held to have occult power in astrology or so bro is a magician holy shit and apparently like i put the fucking i put a reddit link in the general or whatever but that fucking cycle spells yeet when you look at it a certain way that's why i'm saying like he made it like a specific one for himself that spells out his name all that shit what the fuck? Okay. Chat reading this shit. Not gonna get deep, but believe it or not, Yeet obviously does this as a single personal cycle used in chaos magic as a form of manifestation and a bunch of crazy shit. Before y'all flame me, I ain't say shit was real, but this is obviously where that came from. You even gotta you even lock your cycle in a box to make it powerful. 
uh c full image okay so that's his cycle right there yeah i guess he says lock it in a box that's why there's a fucking rectangle around it okay i ain't never sold my soul but i just donated to you i just tatted all that shit on me that happened bitch it's true bruh bruh <laughs> that uh that ain't that ain't about the cycle that's about no, he says it more than once okay well okay let's just say for this song i think that means like you know how in rap songs and like like oh i love this bitch let me tat it tat it on your skin to make it real you know like the relationship to make it seem like it's more long term you know okay but why a fucking cycle bro okay wait continue <laughs> maybe there's other lyrics is this his right here no. No, that's some fucking Islam shit, right? But his says yeet on it? Oh, yeet. With the A-T. This shit's crazy, bro. Hold on. But yeah. Who knows if it's real or not, but... You know what? Obviously, what I, he did it like he believes in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you don't believe in it, obviously it's working for him, dude. I am gonna be the person to test this out. I am going to make my own fucking cycle, and I'm gonna you tat it. A lot of research. Don't fuck yourself over, bro. A lot of research, bro. Shit is a tattoo. Am I in the Illuminati? Cause I got Illuminati tatted on me. <laughs> yes or no <laughs> bro but it's not like he just put a bunch of he just put y-e-a-t and just made that and then locked in a box like there's some more to it that's what i'm saying be careful because if that's just really real and these niggas working with demons you don't want some randomized you don't want to just start seeing some randomized demon now that nigga owns you or some shit i don't know i gotta ask this dude <laughs> I'm gonna go to Yeet's show and just interview him. It's gonna be strictly about this fucking cycle. <laughs> Shit, Yo. I'm here for it, bro. <laughs> and, okay, so what you're saying is, so Yeet didn't really pop off till, let's say, end of 2019, early 2020. And then yeah. he kept growing. Like I said, there's a whole other shit. Like, like, you heard that he overdosed, right? No. Oh really? Tell me about like that. A, I guess he had a like he overdosed sometime. It was definitely after 2019, but he overdosed, and that's why his uh, his album Alive, like you it's know, called back, that. Like yeah, like he's still alive, and that album that's the first album he comes back with that new deep voice because you've heard all his like earlier music where he didn't have that right, but 2021 right. is the year he comes out with that. And right. I guess those conspiracy theorists, that's when, like, whatever happened in between 2019 and 2021 is whenever all this shit happened. Because he ain't have those tattoos then, but he still has a fucking album where he's sitting on a cover playing chess with the devil. But who knows? Chat, the reason I don't know this shit is because I ain't a fucking dick rider. You're allowed to not know <laughs> shit. Okay? Everybody acts like, oh, you don't know what Yeet's sister's name is? <laughs> You're not a fucking Yeet fan. Wait, like, he has a sister? Nah, I'm just saying, like, oh, okay. for example, like, they act, people re expect me to know everything about every rapper. <laughs> like, bro, I I'm just out here having fun and making stupid conspiracy theories. But I feel you. Uh, the evidence definitely matches up. But that happens in a lot of conspiracy yeah. theories where, like, some shit is just a coincidence. Just yeah, the correlation does not always mean causation. And a lot of rappers say they sold their shit to the devil, but yo, maybe like I feel like Yeet's energy is different than a lot of other artists. So maybe the only way to find out is to blow up yourself. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I might have to do it. I don't really know. I think the scariest shit ever would to be have a have a demon like chilling with me. <laughs> uh, my That's eyes are thing. watering thinking about that. Yeah, like it goes. I don't know. It's like fucking yeet lore or some shit. 
I was just reading that shit bored as fuck. Like they're saying Le Geek is a demon. That's what they're saying. It's fuck it. They're saying that's his alter ego or some shit. Oh Le my Geek or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Oh like, my that's what I'm saying. god. They just say a lot of shit. <laughs> they just say a lot of shit. Oh my god. That's crazy. I don't know if I believe that. But I feel you like I'm definitely going to do research because I don't want to just attach some because I do believe in magic. You obviously believe in magic, correct? Yeah. Or like spirituality. I don't do that shit, but yeah. Yeah. Like what I mean is you believe in demons and ghosts and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen a ghost in Italy in a burned down village that uh, was rebuilt. When you were a kid or older? I was studying abroad in like uh i was i was a sophomore or junior in college and in one summer i studied in florence italy and we went to a like random ass village like when people say like the countryside of italy like that shit is deserted like they ain't got cars like they use fucking horses and donkeys and shit to to pull carriages yeah so apparently a village like burned down and I slept in a house that was built on top of one of the bird burned down houses. And I swear when I woke up, I saw a fucking ghost above me. It wasn't like a a person. It was like a a silhouette almost. Like a very hazy yeah. silhouette that you can't it doesn't have a face or anything. You can just see was it. Was it like, like shadowy or it was like whitish. So foggy? foggy it wasn't like and i i freaked out i legit like got up out of the bed and like ran downstairs and slept in with somebody else's bed i was like i'm not fucking around in that room no homo i was sleeping with another dude that night i don't get shit <laughs> I, I can't deal with that no way especially because you don't know what demons can do yeah well though that's just Guess that's just the world of Reddit conspiracy theorists. Well, yeah, definitely do some more research on that. I want to know too, cause I ain't doing it. What you ain't tatting it, or you ain't doing the research? I ain't tatting it. <laughs> yeah.